Hey, this is Chan for Different Skill, bringing you a deck profile on Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion Zabudato and whatnot. So, um, with the new cross ride um, for the Vermilion, Vermilion the Blood, um, he's a pretty cool card. I mean, his art looks pretty nice, especially on the SPs, because, you know, who wouldn't have an SP of your ace card, right? Yeah, who, who wouldn't have one of these? Anywho, so, um... Uh, about the blood, um, the deck's not much different because using the blood's ultimate break isn't really, you know, it's like whatever. I mean, you're gonna get perfect guard anyways, and it's gonna be like Vermilion killing two cards. So, uh, generally, um, if you can, you can just Vermilion Thunderbolt them and then ride the blood. I mean, if you don't, it's fine, whatever, you'll get the five damage eventually. Because, uh, like I said in previous videos, maybe, depending on which order I put these out in, um, without Majesty Lord Blaster, Overload the End, and Tsukiyomi, in effect, you can really get to 5 damage pretty easily. They can't really stop you, so. Alright, on to deck. So, I play 3 Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion, The Blood. Uh, for those of you guys who do not know what its effect is, um, it's an ultimate break, which is limit break 5. Counterblast 3, this unit gains plus 5,000 and 1 critical. Plus 1 critical, so. Um, you're attacking for 26, uh, 16, and 2 crit base. Um, this card gains plus 2,000 and you have a million in your soul. So, attack for big things. Alright, I play 3. You don't want to ride him on turn 3 because it is quite bad to ride. Because if you just take these two cards in comparison, um, Vermilion is actually just better because it doesn't have to be limit break 5. You can use your um, advantage earlier instead of using it later. So, um, But together, like when you have this, when you uh, kill all the front row and then you ride onto Dragonic Kaiser for Men in the Blood, they will have a really hard time dealing with your um, 13k Vanguard. So um, I generally play three of the cross ride versions of cards if they're not Persona Blast. So I play three of them. Play four Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion, of course, and who wouldn't have an SP of their Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion, right? Anywho, so um, for those of you who do not know what the friendly DKV does, aka Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion, I think DKV is like the only um, acronym I I per personally like in Vanguard. Um, MLB is kind of lame and like DOT. I hate when people say DOT. Never say DOT to me. I hate that. Um, so yeah, um, DKV, Draconic Kaiser Vermilion, uh, pretty good card. It's 11k, solid 11k, uh, and it Limit Break 4, Counter Blast 3, um, this unit gains plus 2,000 and attacks all cards in the front row. Oh, and if I didn't, I don't think I said it earlier, but Vermilion, Ka Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion, the Blood also attacks the front row. Yeah, I forgot to explain that. So their effects are basically the same, except he gains extra 3,000 and 1 crit, and he doesn't. But the exchange is that this is limit break 4, this is limit break 5. Kinda does matter, kinda doesn't. Uh, preferably, I'd use Thunderbolt, because if you use it earlier, then you ride the blood, it's a lot better than riding the blood. And then, you know, just using ultimate break. But, anywho. I have three, four Plasma Dust Dragon. Um, this is your 12k attacker. Um, when your vanguard is a vermilion, this card gains plus 3k when he attacks. So, pretty solid 12k attacker. Now, very underrated card, uh, Desert Gunner, Sai... Sai Shin? Oh, no, not Sai Shin. Ryan and Shiden, yeah. Um, Desert Gunner Shiden. Um, and of course I have an SP of him too, for no apparent reason. There's a lot of SPs in this deck. Um, so Desert Rider Shiden, uh is a solid 9k with an ability of stunning a card. So when you stun a card, it means they can't intercept. So you play it and stun, play it and stun, play it and stun. Um, it is really, really good. I mean, on a solid 9k power, and he has a decent effect, that costs no counter blast at that. Um, one thing you can do is that you can play it and stun, and if you want, you can attack with the rear guard first. So they can't intercept, and you can still get all your attacks in with Vermilion. Um, it kind of matters sometimes, kind of doesn't. It also gives you the cho options. Like, say um, they have a 9k, and you just play this, and you stun the 9k. 
and then you don't you can't attack the Vanguard with this. So you attack with the, your Vanguard first, and if you don't get a trigger, you can attack their 9K. If you do get a trigger, you attack their Vanguard, and they can't use that um, intercept to block for them. So they might have to use something actually useful in their hand. So uh, a lot of little things you can do with um, Shiden. So Shiden is really really good. I play three. I play two um, Dragonic uh, Dragon Ogre Demon Dude. He is your unflipper. Mainly, you use, you ride him, attack with him, boosted by Saishin. Then um, you counterblast one, push Saishin into soul, kill a rear guard, and then counter, and then use his effect to unflip. So you get to resolve your effects the way you want. So um, you can make it so that uh, Saishin does not cost counterblast, which is pretty neat. I play two of them. Two um, Dragonic Death Scythe. Uh, normally, you if you unflip with him on your Saishin, you normally have a DKV and then you have one of him to spend all your counterblast or you can hope to get a heal trigger or unflip and use DKV again so um, yeah uh, these are backup uh, solid 9k with good effect what more do you want right? I play 4 uh, Red River Dragoon uh, solid 8k's not much to say play 4 Desert Gunner Ryan uh, Ryan is very very good as a 7k booster with a solid effect, I mean, I know I'm using the word solid a lot, but stunning a card is just so good. It is such a subtle thing, but sometimes it just wins you the game. I mean, you can stun a card from the turn they play it to when they lose and they, because they couldn't intercept it. Just play a Ryan, stun it, play a Ryan, stun it, play a Sheedan, stun it, and then suddenly, well, look at that. Especially if you're playing, if you have cross rided. Um, if they have a card that's bad, right, say it hits for 16, and you stun it, and then they're like, oh, well, I either have to replace it from my hand, which is a minus, or I keep it there and allow the blood to have an easy 5k block. The next turn you stun it again, and he has the choice, he has to make the choice of changing his rows or not. Um, now, Ryan here is very good. I did not know why you wouldn't play 4. Um, 7k booster with a good effect, I would also always play 4. 3 Photon Bomber Wyvern, um, your conditional 10k booster. When my opponents are 3 damage, boost for 10k. Pretty good. Um, put it behind your Vermillions. Attack everything in the front for 20 something k. It's always good. 4 Gold. Uh, gold is pretty useful because, you know, gold is good. Perfect Guards. Um, this is the deck I play 4 Perfect Guards in. I don't know why, actually. Probably because your level 3s are. I don't know, actually. I just like the 4 Perfect Guards in this deck for some reason. Probably because I'm playing 6 draw, though. One, um, Lizard Soldier, Saishin. Um, pretty good. Uh, he has the ability of, if I can't have a good Vanguard, you can't have... If I can't have a good starting Vanguard, you can't either. So, uh, things like Conroe, you really need to... Or Mecha Trainer. Something that's a good... Or, like, uh, Spring Breeze Messenger. You could really just, you know, boost, attack, and snipe. And it's a break even, sure, but you really shut down a lot of things. You, it doesn't really feel like a big deal when you first look at it, but when you think about it, now they have to play a different card from their hand to boost their original Vanguard. It really does change the perspective of the match a lot. I mean, especially if their card is useful. Things like uh, um, Spring Breeze Messen Messenger, Conroe, Mecha Trainer, Wing Call Brave... Um, what's that other card called? Um, the Girl Who Costs Gap. Um, Greedy Hand. Greedy Hand is a really good target for him. Uh, who else is... What other starting Vanguard is really, really good? Let's see. Thinking of all the decks I'm playing. Um, Eric, actually. Eric is a really good choice to hit. Because, um, Aqua Force has a lot of level 3s that are very useful. Um, let's see now. That is... That will kind of cover it. You have, like, 8 very good targets. And otherwise, if you don't want to trade, you can just keep them there and just boost and stuff. So, uh, very good. Normally in this deck, when you ride, you put them on the side. Unless you have um, the ogre in your hand, then you can put them right behind so you can boost and attack. And you can hope it goes through. And if it doesn't, just plop on DKV and attack again. So, I play for the new critical trigger. Uh, it's really nice. I just like the card art. Not really because it's any good. Because it's just a vanilla crit trigger. Um, two of the Malevolent Dijin, eh, I don't know why I'm playing this over the other one, probably because the art is a bit better. Uh, two of these draw triggers, 
and f four of these draw triggers, so I'm running six draw. Um, not really because, I'm not skimping out on crits because, oh man, the blood has crits. It just really isn't the thing I like to do. Um, definitely because you get so much boom, boom, boom on your vermilions. Uh, it feels like you really shouldn't get some more draw triggers. So you can just, you know, keep up your hand while you kill all of their cards. It's very important to do that. And of course, for heal. So, um, overall this deck is very fun. Um, I'm not selling this deck. I do enjoy it a lot. It's because, um, you know, stunning thing, stunning people is fun. Um, just these cards are just so good. Especially because DKV is such a strong card by itself. Um, the Blood, he is okay. He's not really the game-breaking card, like Dragonic Overload the end. But really, when you pair these two up, when the pair these two up together, it's pretty good. You kill all things in the front, cross ride, now they have hard times getting it, start stunning them, it's really annoying to deal with. Not as annoying as at the end, but you know, that's the reason why it got restricted. So, um, yeah, this is my deck profile on the Blood. Um, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.